Hello, if you could like and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate that as I am a new YouTuber. Thank you. So, today, we're going to be starting with Mac number 8. I've got sick of the iMac, so we're going to have a go at one of the MacBooks. This is number 8, just to remind you, it's a MacBook Air. I've not even put any power to this as I didn't have a charger. I've managed to find one. I've got a, just managed to get hold of a second-hand MagSafe one adapter. This one is 45 watt. Have a look here. So we should be alright powering the MacBook Air with this. I don't think we're going to get any further like powering any other MacBooks up with it. I've also bought myself a microphone. You might be able to tell just to get slight better audio quality. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just power on, well, in fact no, we'll open up the MacBook so you can see inside it. But I know I said before it's in relatively nice condition. If we hold down the power button with no charger, it just does nothing, nothing at all. So let's connect the power. So connecting the power first off, we get a green light. time being as you can see we're just getting the Apple logo but it looks like it is picking itself up so we'll just wait and see what it tries to boot into okay so by the looks of things we've gone straight into recovery mode I would guess that this is the OS which this Mac was shipped with I don't exactly know off the top of my head which one it is I think it may be 10a something like that maybe 107 as this is a oldish MacBook Air, one of the first ones. So, on the install Mac OS screen, I click continue on that. Now the mouse seems to be very laggy, but if you can see that on the screen, my finger around moving the mouse. It's just taking a while to catch up and it's just struggling a little bit. Okay, so you can see a second volume there, which is basically an install, well, the recovery partition. I'm not sure why it's showing up as orange, is that usually like an external one, but anyway. So you can see the SSD in there, these all have SSDs. Um, it looks like it says it says there, if you can read that, just zoom in. As you can see, it's got a 250 gig SSD in there, which is a good start. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on Untitled and I'm just going to click Install. Okay, so I've left it a couple of minutes and as you can see straight off we've got Install Failed. Mac OS could not be installed on your computer. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the latest OS this machine will go up to. I don't think it will go up to Catalina and then we'll try and install that. So I will make that USB stick and try and install that. So if you're ever wondering which is the best way to actually check to see if which OS your Mac will go up to, there's an app in the App Store called Mac Tracker, and if we open that up, just download it on this machine, you'll see from this application you can basically go in and you can have a look at all the different iMacs that are available, all the different MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, that kind of stuff. But Personally what I do is in the top right hand corner here, well select all models on the left, in the top right hand corner I enter the serial number. And like I said, so now you can see in the serial number it picks up the exact MacBook Air that I've got. So in here, it'll show you here, it's a vintage product, it's introduced 2011, discontinued 2012, so it's got an i5 or an i7. But if we have a look at the software tab, you'll see there that it says the maximum OS is 10.13, so it can't actually go up to the latest one. So it looks like High Sierra is going to be the latest OS that we can put this machine on. So yeah, it did come originally with 10.7, so that's what it's most likely trying to install. So I'm going to quickly make an install disk, a 10.12, well sorry, a 10.13 High Sierra one, and then we'll try and install it on the MacBook Air. So 
now we've got the USB installed and made, I'm going to hold down the power button just to turn the mic back off. Let's hold that down for 5 seconds or so. That's now gone off, we're going to chuck the USB stick in the side of the Mac. USB port. Power on the Mac. Okay, very weird. Got some writing on the screen as you can see, it looks like it's small kernel panic to that stage. Hold down the power button again. Try and hold down option this time. Okay, so that's looking slightly better. We've got the install disk. Let's select that. Okay. Kernel panicking not booting up off that. Okay, this is not a good sign. Um, I'll wait for it to reboot and I'll give it one more try. Okay, so we've got an Apple logo this time. That's a slightly better start. It looks like it is booting up off the USB stick. As you can see, it's flashing blue, so it must be reading something off of it. So we'll see if we can get any further. So we did eventually get into the macOS installer, but it took around an hour for it to actually get there. And it's still really, really glitchy and really laggy. Now, one of the things that I have noticed is if you unplug the power adapter, the battery's not holding any power at all. So I'm wondering if that is somehow affecting the way that it's running because it thinks that it's charging it and we get a green light on the actual power adapter down here but it's just unbelievably slow and I feel I probably could get the OS installed by literally clicking and waiting 10 minutes and we'd get there eventually but I feel like there's something deeper well, something else wrong with this Mac so I'm gonna power it off whip the bottom off disconnect the battery and try it and run the installer again see if it makes it any well see if it's any quicker so I'll do that now. Okay, so kind of good news. The Mac has booted. It booted a lot faster to get into recovery mode. It probably took around five to ten minutes, is what I'd usually expect. And just looking around the screen there, I don't know if you can see the mouse on the video. It should be able to. It's nowhere near as laggy as it was before. So if I select English, click the little next button. That took around probably ten seconds, fifteen seconds, which is kind of not brilliant, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was before. So. Just like selecting and navigating around the menus, you can see it's near on instant, as you'd expect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and install, well, we're going to have a look at the drive first. I'm going to wipe it, seeing as I'm booting from an external volume, just because we know there's that recovery partition somewhere. I just want to get rid of everything completely. And I'm going to select the top level SSD there. I'm just going to click erase. I'm going to do it in Mac OS extended, journaled. Not sure what's going on there it's showing that there's all kinds of weird stuff going on, on that left hand side so hopefully this will standardize it and we'll just have one macintosh hd on this left hand side here which is correct them disk images we'll just ignore them for the time being so close that off go to install mac os And there it is click install and then we'll just let that install run and we'll pick up on that while that's doing that i want to have a look at some price some new batteries as by the looks of things it could very well be that it just needs a new battery this machine but we'll wait for it to install we'll boot it up and we'll see what it's like it's finished installing now and as you can see we're on the desktop slash dish utility screen slash system preferences um, everything seems to be working fine so We've got a 256 gig hard drive in there. It's got an i7 installed. 
it's all looking pretty good to be quite honest with you. So I've got a feeling that the main problem here was the battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the battery ordered and shove that in and then I'm going to run it through diagnostics. I'm going to also do a secure raise on the disc like I did on the previous video on the iMac. So if you want to have a look at that video and just click the link above now or I'll put the link in the description as well. So I will order the battery as I haven't got one in stock um, and then when it comes around to fitting it then I'll fit it on video so you can have a look at that as well. If you're issuing a similar type of problems with your MacBook Air, it's not a gigantic thing to just whip the bottom off, disconnect the battery, see if it's any quicker, see if it's any better. As to be honest with you, like I say, it looks to me like that was the issue with this MacBook, which I've been looking around, you can get a new battery for around £25. It's not a genuine one, but the age of this machine, I mean, it's uh, 2011, so it's a few years old. So a genuine one would probably cost a lot more than what the machine's worth so a cheap battery for this time will do but yeah so that's that thanks for watching i'll uh, keep you updated when i get the battery and please subscribe